He's never beaten any elite heavyweight in his entire career. He was losing every round to the geezer who's about 40. Can't even remember his name now. Pro boxing fans, we're here in Riyadh. It's noisy, it's loud, but we're here. Eddie, how's your flight? You've just come in a couple of hours ago, right? You've only just got in, right? Yeah, it's a long way from America uh, and a lot of time difference, but feeling good. Yeah, obviously, it's a huge event, great setup. Looking forward to obviously, we're promoting the main event on Saturday, plus Dimitri and, and Jai Alpataya. It's a great card. Um, can't wait, can't wait to watch it all unfold. I do want to ask you, we, we saw AJ yesterday, he looked very focused, didn't say many words. Do you feel like he gets a lot more scrutiny than any other fighter, which is why maybe he's, he's in this? I've never seen someone analyse so deeply, you know, if he's quiet, he's, he's boring, he's, he doesn't have the confidence. If he's outspoken, he's ruffled. Like, you want him to be more aggressive, you want him to have that spike? Guess what, you're going to see it on Saturday, you're going to see a hell of a performance from him as well. Uh, I'm really expecting a great, great performance from Anthony Joshua on Saturday. We're all really confident and excited of that. What does Ben Davidson do to Anthony Joshua? What does he change? What have you heard or what have you seen? Gives him the confidence to understand the game plan, to make things click, to understand what he's doing, to let him go out and believe in himself, be aggressive, let his hands go. And that's what, again, I believe he wins this fight by stoppage on Saturday. His experience with Southpaws with Usyk, who's a special fighter, does that leave him in good stead for Saturday night against Otto Wallin? Yeah, I mean, it's never ideal fighting a Southpaw, especially on six weeks' notice. But Wallin is more of a stand-up Southpaw. You know, he's fought other Southpaws in his career as well, particularly Charles Martin. Usyk is different, but, you know, it will definitely be a tricky uh, task on Saturday. Obviously, Deontay Wilder fighting Jose Parker. What do you make of that matchup? Do you feel like that's a potential banana skin for Deontay Wilder? It's definitely a banana skin, you know. Like I said, he's a very talented fighter. Um, but you've got to be beating people like Otto Wilder, and I believe he will. Final one for myself before I let you go. Deontay Wilder saying, listen, he's a bone champion. Anthony Joshua is a main champion. What do you make of that? Um, I didn't understand that question, say again. Deontay Wilder saying that he's a born champion, Andy Joshua is a manufactured champion, he's a main champion. What do you mean? It's this geezer so deluded, I've never heard anything like it. Deontay Wilder is a born champion, not a manufactured champion. The guy won the world heavyweight title against Bermain Stavern. He's never boxed, he's never beaten any elite heavyweight in his entire career. He was losing every round to the geezer who's about 40. Can't even remember his name now. Uh, or, Ortiz, right? Look at his resume. It's awful, awful. But he can really punch. He can lose to anyone, but he can also beat anyone. But look at AJ's resume and you will see. And listen, Wilder well, better stay focused on winning on Saturday night. Actually, give me a percentage on how close we are for AJ Wilder. We'll see. I don't want to talk about that. Just focus on Saturday, you know. You, all you need to know is I'm doing everything I can to make that fight. But unless they win on Saturday, it's irrelevant. And yeah, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, mate.